Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm your host, Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. This week's episode features a quick recap of Xbox E3 2018, several new Xbox game announcements, a big backward compatibility release, and much more. All right, let's get to those headlines. E3 2018 has come and gone, but the excitement from this year's event hasn't shown any signs of slowing. Here's a look at some of the highlights from this year's event. Welcome to E3 2018. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. So let's jump in. FIFA 18 is celebrating the World Cup with the Festival of Football month-long event taking place now. This is a great way to upgrade your FIFA Ultimate Team squad using everything from special foot items to a variety of squad building challenges and objectives. The best part is you can do it all alongside the actual World Cup event. The announcement trailer for Ark Extinction was released this week along with a November 6th launch date. Here's a look at what you can expect. In case you missed it, Resident Evil 2 is making a return on Xbox One in early 2019. It's been 20 years since the original released, and this complete remake will take you back to Raccoon City with modern gameplay mechanics, new visuals, and a photorealistic style powered by the re-engine that was behind the gorgeous graphics of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We'll have lots more on this as the launch date approaches, so stay tuned. NHL 19 was announced this week and will be available to hockey fans worldwide on September 14th on Xbox One. You'll be able to play with or against 200 of the greatest legends of the game. Compete on outdoor rinks surrounded by amazing landscapes we've never seen before and take part in a truly authentic hockey experience thanks to real player motion technology. Also, you can unlock the full game three days early on September 11th if you pre-order the NHL 19 Legend Edition or the NHL 19 Ultimate Edition. The Crew 2 Open Beta is available to everyone now through the 25th. This is a great opportunity to try the game before it releases globally next week on the 29th. Side note, the Gold Edition of the game launches on the 26th, giving early access to those of you who pre-ordered that. WWE 2K19 was announced this week. Gracing this year's cover is WWE superstar AJ Styles. If you pre-order the deluxe edition of the game, you'll get four days early access beginning on October 5th. The global launch of the game is October 9th, so check back for more details in the coming months. The Telltale publisher sale is taking place now through June 25th. You can save up to 75% on Telltale's entire award-winning catalog of games like Batman and Back to the Future and everything in between. The deals are on Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Windows 10 PC, so visit the Microsoft Store to see them all. On top of that, Telltale Games' Seven Days to Die free play weekend is also underway. The game is set in a brutally unforgiving world overrun by the undead and features great crafting, world building, and survival mechanics. If a combination of first person shooter, survival horror, tower defense, and role playing sounds interesting to you, then check this out. War Thunder started its early access run this week. This is a massively multiplayer online combat game featuring aviation, armored vehicles, and naval warships from the pre-World War II 1930s to the height of Cold War in the 1980s. There are three different bundles for the game, and you just need to purchase one of them to gain early access. 
Also, Xbox players can purchase an exclusive premium destroyer, the USS Venian, in the Xbox store should you choose. Let's see what's out now. How about a new backward compatibility title? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is now available to play on your Xbox One. Many of you have requested this title, so get out there and enjoy it. Next we have, stay with me on this, Anima, Gates of Memories, The Nameless Chronicles. How's that for a title? This is a third person action RPG with a deep story and a heavy emphasis on combat and exploration. In the game, you will control two different characters bound together and impacted by your gameplay choices. Also out now is Hamerick. This is a comedic action adventure game set during medieval times. The gameplay is based around the interactive use of words. Essentially, you'll need to activate the right words to defeat the various enemies and solve new puzzles, which will appear constantly throughout the game. The Sims 4 Parenthood and Kids Room Stuff Pack launched this week. Now you can develop your Sims parenting skills and personalize kids' bedrooms exactly how you want. Did you know you can gift Xbox digital games through the Microsoft Store? I bring it up because there's a great promotion happening now through June 25th, where gifting Unravel 2 will give you a free month of EA access. It doesn't need to be the holiday season to share a little gaming love. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you.